All right, guys. Well, it is a gray, cloudy, hopefully not soon to be rainy day here in the second collapse of civilization here in uh, Bacalar, Mexico, where the Mayan civilization collapsed a few centuries ago. And now we're in the middle of the collapse of global industrial civilization here on this. It is a Monday. February 6, 2023, so uh, <clears throat> our new hotel room will not be ready for a while, so I thought I would just fill up this downtime with today's chronicle of the collapse from good old Yahoo News itself. <clears throat> Huge chunk of plants and animals in U.S. at risk of extinction. Wow, who would have thunk it? All right, <clears throat> this is by a fellow named Brad Brooks, whoever he is. Take it away, Brad. <clears throat> a leading conservation research group has found that 40% of animals and 34% of plants in the United States are at risk of extinction, while 41% of U.S. ecosystems are facing collapse. Cannot be a better chronicle of the collapse than this on this Monday morning while the entire world is focused on a Chinese spy balloon we have a huge chunk of plants and animals going uh, into oblivion while the biggest distraction, good Lord, I guess since Corona panic. Anyway, everything from crayfish and cacti to freshwater mussels and iconic American species such as the Venus flytrap are in danger of disappearing, a report released this very morning found. This is from a group called NatureServe. <clears throat> NatureServe, which analyzes data from its network of over 1,000 scientists from across the U.S. and Canada, said the report was its most comprehensive yet, synthesizing five decades worth of its own information on the health of animals, plants, and the ecosystems. Importantly, the report pinpoints the areas in the United States where land is unprotected and where animals and plants are facing the most threats. Sean O'Brien, president of NatureServe, said the conclusions of the report were, quote, terrifying. Yes, they are, Sean. And he hoped it would help lawmakers get their minds off a Chinese spy balloon and understand the urgency of passing protections such as the Recovering America's Wildlife Act that stalled out in Congress last year. Quote, if we want to maintain the panoply of biodiversity that we currently enjoy, we need to target the places where the biodiversity is most threatened. This report allows us to do that. Okay. U.S. Representative Don Beyer, a Democrat who has proposed legislation to create a wildlife corridor system to rebuild threatened populations of fish, wildlife, and plants, said nature serves work would be critical to helping agencies identify what areas to prioritize and where to establish migration routes. Uh, said Beyer, quote, the data reported by NatureServe is grim, a harrowing sign of the very real problems our wildlife and our wildlife and ecosystems are facing. I am thankful 
for their efforts, which will give a boost to efforts to protect biodiversity. So now let's hear about human encroachment. Human encroachment. Among the species at risk of disappearing are icons like the carnivorous Venus flytrap, which is only found in the wild in a few counties of North and South Carolina. Nearly half of all cacti species are at risk of extinction, while 200 species of trees, including a maple, a maple leaf oak found in Arkansas, are also at risk of disappearing. Among ecosystems, America's expansive temperate and boreal grasslands are among the most imperiled, with over half of 78 grassland types at risk of a range-wide collapse. The threats against plants, animals, and ecosystems are varied, the report found, but include, wow, quote, habitat degradation and land conversion, invasive species, damming and polluting of rivers, and of course, climate change. California, Texas, and the southeastern U.S. are where the highest percentage of plants, animals, and ecosystems are at risk, the report found. Those areas are both the richest in terms of biodiversity in the country, but also where population growth has boomed in recent decades and where human encroachment on nature has been the harshest, said Wesley Knapp, the chief botanist at NatureServe. Knapp highlighted threats facing plants, which typically get less conservation funding than animals. There are nearly 1,250 plants in NatureServe's, quote, critically imperiled category the final stage before extinction, meaning that conservationists have to decide where to spend scant funds, even among the most vulnerable species, to prevent extinctions. Quote, which means a lot of plants are not going to get conservation attention. We're almost in triage triage mode, trying to keep our natural systems in place, Knapp said. <clears throat> Vivian Negron Ortiz, the president of the Botanical Society of America and a botanist with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, who was not involved in the report, said there is still a lot scientists do not know and have not yet discovered about biodiversity in the United States and that nature serves data helped illuminate that darkness. <clears throat> More than anything, she sees the new data as a call to action. Yes, quote, this report shows the need for the public to stop thinking about a Chinese spy balloon and help prevent the disappearance of many of our plant species. The public can help by finding and engaging with local organizations that are actively working to protect wild places and conserve rare species. Yes. <clears throat> And then, of course, uh, you know, they go through the usual, uh, the usual hump, the usual hopium. Uh, currently, $50 million in federal funding is divided up among all states. Um, the Recovering American Wildlife Act uh, would have increased that to 1.4 billion, which would have, or would have had, 
a huge impact on the state's ability to protect animals and ecosystems. Uh, quote, our biodiversity and its conservation is like a nature savings account and if we don't have this kind of accounting of what's out there and how it's doing and what are the threats, there's no way to prioritize action. This new report is critical for that. Yes, so that is the news on how doomed America's plants, animals, and ecosystems are. All right, but the grackle and dove population seems to be fine in Bacalar, Mexico. All right, I guess I have time to do some more rants before my battery collapses.